Welcome to British Cook. What is clotted cream? How do I eat clotted cream? What do I do with a creamy liquid that's left over? These are questions I get asked every day on British Cook. So here I am, about to answer them just for you. Clotted cream, that sounds disgusting. Ew! The name's very old, ancient Britain old. Clotted cream was recorded as being given to people in the 14th century, written in poetry in the 15th century, and in recipe books in the 16th century in Britain. A very old British dish. Historically, always from the southwest of the UK, Devon, Cornwall. If you ever see clotted cream with the label Cornish clotted cream, it has to be made by Cornish cows, Cornish milk, and be at least 55% fat. But you don't need to worry about that because in my video I show you exactly how to make clotted cream at home really cheap and really really easy. So what do I use clotted cream in? Clotted cream can be used in so many different things. The British cream tea, scones and if you're interested in how to make a British cream tea there'll be links coming up at the end of this video to my scones video how to make scones and also to my clotted cream video. Clotted cream is also used a lot in making fudge on hot desserts like apple pie, hot chocolate fudge cake, personal favourite on top of ice cream. I mean it can even be added to things like mashed potatoes, scrambled eggs, anything you can make a little bit richer by adding some cream to, you can make a lot lot richer by adding clot of cream to. Also in the first comment down below I'll leave a link to my recipes where I make other things with clot of cream. Fudge affogato, clot of cream chocolate truffles, chocolate truffles but with clotted cream. Amazing. There's even a rumour I might use it in pasties. Top secret pasty recipe. Shh. That's a bit of history and background about what you can do with clotted cream. You're probably here though as well because you've made clotted cream, you may be, and you want to know what to do with the liquid that's left over. Let me show you a couple of things I do with the liquid that's left over. Really easy. Also, I get loads of questions about where to get the cream from. Where to get the cream from in America? What sort of cream works? If you look down through the comments, underneath the clot of cream video, you'll find your answer there. Don't use any kind of UHT cream or any kind of cream with stabilizers. And unfortunately, this is very common in America. It simply won't work. Do you know what would be really cool? If you could join me, click the subscribe button, tap the bell so you get notifications come through, and don't miss a thing from British Cook. So when you make clot of cream, there's a liquid that separates underneath it. And what I'm going to do is just pull that out a minute. So what we've got here is this liquid here. It's going to come out quite quickly. This is the sort of thing you can do with a cream after you've used a clot of cream. Delicious. Keep watching. Give this a go. So there's quite a few things you can do with this liquid. The first thing I'll do is start with the most simple one. Coffee. Just look at that. Quick stir. Absolutely gorgeous coffee. Lovely and creamy. So the coffee is a really quick and easy way to use it up. It keeps for a couple of days in the fridge, feed it into your coffee. You can use it as a very creamy substitute for milk in any recipe you can think of. I'm about to show you my favourite way to use this up. It's a British dessert called Eaton Mess. For the Eaton Mess, get some meringues. Crush them, break them up. I love meringue, don't you? Grab yourself some strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, any kind of berry you fancy. Chuck them in there, in with the meringue. And what we're gonna do is quickly squash that fruit up a little bit. Just squash it down, mix it in there. Next, we add our liquid. Pour that in. So, this becomes quite a sweet dish. And the meringue does start to melt quite quickly in the cream. We're going to put some more meringue on top of it. Close to serving up. More meringue. Here's another idea. You can just pour it over fruit. You can pour it on cereal. You can pour it on your porridge. Mix it in with your porridge. So many different things you can do with this. 